In this video, we're going to show you how to add a notice. After you've logged into the Public Notice Website Administrative Console, it's the first option on the left side of your screen. So we're going to go ahead and click Add Notice. Now we're going to select the government type, entity, and public body for which this notice is going to be under. This is only going to show you the entities and public bodies that you have access to. I'm going to select the test body right now. If you need to add a notice for a public body that's not showing up on this list, you probably don't have access and you should contact the Public Notice Website Administrator. So I'm going to type in a notice title and then I'm going to select a subject from the list. Then I'm going to select the notice type. Again, if you're not sure about when to check the different notice types, you might want to consult with the Public Notice Website Administrator. I'm then going to put in the event start date and time and end date and time. So in this example, I'll do a few days out and we'll do from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Be sure to look at the blue text that will tell you what characters are allowed in any given field. The description or agenda, remember it needs to be put in this field, it cannot just be attached to the notice. We recommend you have it ready and copy and paste it into this field when you create a notice. The notice of special accommodations and the electronic and telephone participation information is frequently the same from notice to notice, so again we recommend that you copy and paste it in. There will also be a field available for you to put in any email addresses you wish to receive a copy of the notice. And then here's the address information. This audio file location field can be used to link to audio or video recordings that aren't hosted on the Public Notice website. We highly recommend using YouTube. It's easy to understand and it's easy to link to. So consider using YouTube and putting the YouTube links in here. Lastly, we have the attachment field. Now, as a reminder, just because something is not legally required doesn't mean you can't attach it. So we recommend attaching as much information as you have. Remember, there's a 200 megabyte limit on the size of the files that you can upload. Then when we're all done, you can publish, you can publish and create new, or you can preview what you've just done. The publish and create new button will just publish your notice and then immediately allow you to create another one. You can also save this as a draft and come back to it later. Click Publish and your notice is live. 